House Majority Whip Jim Clyburn shared the details of a fascinating conversation that he had with former president and war criminal George W. Bush. And it had to do with the fact that Representative Clyburn decided to endorse Joe Biden in a critical moment during the Democratic primary. And that really did help Biden increase his numbers in the polls. And that was a turning point during the primaries. So as they witnessed President Joe Biden take the oath of office, Representative Clyburn said former Republican President George W. Bush lauded him as a savior for helping get Biden elected. Now, George Bush also allegedly said, you know, you're the savior because if you had not nominated Joe Biden, we would not be having this transfer of power today. And what he's referring to, of course, is that if Bernie Sanders had been the Democratic nominee, then you know, there's no way there'd be a transfer of power. Come on, come on. So how do you interpret that, that statement, Waz? Uh, there's just so much. To unpack there, um, one, nobody asked you guys specifically to come out and call George Bush, George Bush, and his cronies, uh, Dick Cheney, Rumsfeld, the rest of them, war criminals, which they are. We don't even ask that of you to come out in the public square and shun these people and shame them. For the horrific acts that they committed upon both this country, um, for the people that had to go out there and die and maim themselves and injure themselves mentally, emotionally, physically, um, on behalf of that those two insane wars. We don't even ask you to do that. The least we ask you to do is to not come out and shine George Bush's shoes. Yes, I just said it. Clyburn is up there acting like a damn Tom, shining George Bush's shoes. For what? He want credit for what? No Republican would ever get up there and say, you know, that one time I met, uh, you know, Jimmy Carter. It was great. That would never, ever freaking happen. Yet Clyburn is so proud of himself for what he did. He's willing to suck up to George Bush. That's disgusting, dude. In service of what? Being so proud that you took down Bernie Sanders and his crazy, scary agenda to help working and normal people. This is horrific. Yeah, I mean, Strong. What you just said is strong. Um, and I can say because I'm black. I'm sorry. I would never. No, say, no, so no. My thing. My thing. Here's my thing. I don't ever want to go against influential public black people in a public way, especially amongst, let's face it, non-blacks, right? Because it always gets used as ammunition to be like, look, even the black guy is saying it. Except in the cases that people are behaving in disgusting fashion. Like this is just horrible. To cite George Bush as some some reason why you should pat yourself on the back. This guy is the most destructive president of our lifetimes. Like even more dis destructive than what Reagan did to poor um, minority communities during his reign, right? Like this dude got millions of brown people killed in the Middle East and countless other American people maimed, killed, et cetera, et cetera, as I previously mentioned. He's deplorable. Yep. That's the only yeah. thing you should be saying about George Bush in public. Instead, this dude is shining his shoes. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. I mean, what you also have to understand what happened under Bush's watch, right? The largest terrorist attack in US history happened under his watch. Like, so yes, there are the war crimes, you know, people. Very rightly bring that up and and criticize him for it, but just 
the amount of failure uh, during the Bush administration um, toward the American people in, in like what Republicans claim they do best, you know? They're the best at national security, they're the best at keeping people safe. Bush and Cheney did everything but that. Um, and you know, there's there are different ways to interpret what Bush said, right? So maybe one I would say generous interpretation is that, you know, Bush thinks that he can read the tea leaves and, and really genuinely believe that someone like Bernie Sanders had absolutely no chance of beating Donald Trump, which I don't believe at all. And if you do give him that that more generous interpretation, just consider how incredibly dumb George Bush was, okay? <laughs> all the people who are, no, no, but for all the people who are now helping to rehabilitate his reputation, don't forget how disastrous his policies were both abroad and here in the United States. And don't forget how easy it is to make a compilation video highlighting just some, just some, not all, just some of his stupid moments in his eight years in office. Let's watch. Uh, tribal sovereignty means that, it's sovereign. It's, you're a, you're a, you've been given sovereignty and you're viewed as a sovereign entity. Okay. And you're working hard to put food on your family. I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. I heard somebody say, now where's Mandela? Well, Mandela's dead because Saddam Hussein killed all the Mandelas. We got an issue in America. Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their their love with women all across this country. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. By the way, um, obviously at the time he made those statements about Mandela, Mandela was was not dead. He was still very much alive um, and that statement was insane. Um, but if you wanna give the less generous interpretation of what Bush is saying, you know, there's always been um, some suspicion that the powers that be would do whatever it takes to prevent someone like Bernie Sanders from winning. Um, and certainly some of the rhetoric coming from um, Democratic lawmakers made it seem as though they saw Bernie as more of a threat than Trump was. Um, so that was the feeling that I got. And I, I don't know specifically what Bush meant through that statement. But I agree with you, Waz, that um, you know Clyburn kind of bragging about that interaction that he had and, and feeling good about Bush of all people calling him a savior. It's just not a good look. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk back what I said specifically because Basically, I'm not asking like, you to was no, 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 not you. you. I, I know because because some people will get triggered. Oh, he he called him a Tom. No, why are you bragging about this man patting you on the head? Why? What makes him so special and important? Aside from the fact that he was once the worst president of modern times. Aside from that accomplishment, what makes him somebody worthy of you bragging about him praising of you, praising you? It doesn't make any sense. It's just another dude suckling at the power teeth with just no backbone, bro. Like you, like I, I just could never imagine Newt Gingrich bragging about an interaction with President Clinton. <laughs> he just would yeah. never do it. He just would never say, "Oh man, President Clinton gave me profit." Like it's insanity, man. And it speaks to the depraved nature of a lot of these establishment establishment dems, right? Like these people are just so obsessed with power 
that power is just an end unto itself. It doesn't matter whether you actually do anything for anybody. That you achieve power is the achievement. Well, um, Bernie has also kind of weighed in on this, and he did mm. so through uh, a photo shoot. Um, it's a photo shoot that you know makes a lot of sense to me. Let's take a quick look. Here he is uh, on a college campus with his arms crossed, <laughs> saying Medicare for all changed my mind. <laughs> no, I can't get enough of these memes. Like it's the one <laughs> super fun thing that came out of yesterday. Yes, um, so obviously that's Photoshop. It's a meme um, from uh, Bernie's appearance during Biden's inauguration. But I, I love. Look, I I think that you're absolutely right, Waz, and let anyone who's engaging in rehabilitating George Bush, please stop. Please stop, leave the room, you're not, you're not doing anyone any favors other than the Republicans and George Bush's reputation. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.